everybody, here's a quick tip. If you are painting and you have a short time in between coats, uh, say less than 24 hours, what I do is I stick my brushes or my rollers in a plastic bag and then I stick them in the fridge. When I'm ready to go for the second coat, pull it out and it's ready to go. Hey everybody, welcome to Quick Fix with Chad. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, you know, I, in these times of quarantine and uh, isolation, uh, you know, it's given me some time to uh, finish some projects around the house I've been wanting to get to. Uh, one of those was the pantry. Uh, my house was built in the late 50s, and the pantry, I don't, unfortunately I don't have a, a before picture, but it was basically two doors and it was painted white. Um, it looks similar to this picture here except no drawers, it was just two doors. So that, that gives you an idea what the before picture looked like. Um, <clears throat> the uh, hardware here, the barn door hardware, um, I actually ordered it through a Black Friday special through Walmart. It's pretty basic, but it's pretty, I mean, it's, it's good stuff. I only paid 25 bucks for that. Um, the door itself, I actually ordered on, I wanted something kind of different and just, you know, uh, not your typical barn door look. Uh, so I ordered this on eBay through a company that uh, specializes in salvaging old buildings when they're getting torn down. So like old brick, old doors, windows, uh, plumbing fixtures and everything. And uh, this is out of Chicago. The cool story behind it is this came out of a basement of a building that was a suspected counting room. Uh, some cool history there. That's not why I bought it. I bought it for the, uh, the look. Um, Anyway, so I just painted it, and uh, now this hardware requires a certain depth for the type of panel you're going to attach to it. Uh, this was too thin, so basically on the back side where it mounts, I added a 1x3 uh, to accommodate for that thickness. Um, another thing with this is, uh, you know, you do have to have some kind of a header, uh, depending on the size of the door and how heavy it is. To will determine how really you want to beef it up. But you always want to beef it up as much as possible. There's, you know, a lot of uh, uh, movement and such on these doors. Um, the paint, I actually use a uh, oil-based paint. Um, it's a little bit harder to work with, but the end result is much better. I did three coats and uh, it's a much, when it cures, it's actually like a seven day cure. Uh, when it cures fully, uh, it's a much more durable uh, product as opposed to in a, uh, a latex-based paint. So anyways, hey, if you have any questions about this little project here, uh, anything specifically, or maybe you've done something cool with your little pantry, uh, post a picture below. I'd love to see it. Anyways, have a great day. Stay safe. and We'll talk to you soon.